Hi, this is Amy, and today I want to show you how to use the Chrome extension Screencastify to screencast, which means record your screen with your voice. Uh, with this, you can teach people, give directions. You can, uh, if you're a teacher, you can teach concepts like this. Uh, you can do, for principals, directors, you can do faculty meetings like this so that you're you're not keeping people longer than you need to. You can give them all the other information this way and give them a visual on the screen. So I just think it's one of the greatest Chrome extensions ever and I want you to know how to use it. So here's how. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the App Store. Now the App Store is usually found in what I like to call the colorful waffle. So it's on your toolbar in your Chrome account. If you don't see that, then you might go to the hot dogs in the top right. Let me scoot over a little bit so you can see and go to bookmarks and hover. Let me move over one more time. I think you can see this time and put a check mark by show bookmarks bar. It's an easy way to get to the web store. If you're using a Chromebook, you'll click on the circle in the bottom left hand corner and then go to the web store from there. So we're going into the web store. We're going to look for an extension called Screencastify. Screencastify. Um, if you want to narrow it down, you can click on the extensions area right here and it'll pop right to the top. So here it is. We're going to click Add to Chrome and Add Extension. I'm going to walk you through the install steps. If you have already got it installed but you just need to learn how to use it, you can skip ahead a bit. Alright, so here it is in my toolbar, but I'm going to have to authorize it, allow it to run in my Chrome browser and give it all the permissions it needs. So we're going to set up camera access right now. We're going to allow it to use our microphone. We're going to save to Google Drive and we're going to sign in with our Google account. So whatever account you're logged into Chrome with, that's the account you want to sign in to Screencastify with. We're going to click Allow. Uh, let's go ahead and set up tab recording while we're here. When we're finished, we'll click the checkbox at the bottom and we'll see a video and hear it start to play. This is how you know it's fully authorized and ready to go. So I'm going to move my um, Omnibox over a little bit. Oh, I guess I can. I don't have enough stuff over there. So we'll now activate Screencastify. You don't want to try to activate it on the web store because the web store is a special protected place. And if we try to use Screencastify on the web store, it probably will not work. So what we'll do instead is we'll go into a Google Doc or a slides presentation or something like that and whatever it is you want to record. This can be on your desktop or in your browser. It's just up to you. So I'm going to find something in my Google Drive that I want to record. Um, I'm going to choose this uh, website for our upcoming conference that we're going to be putting on at the Village School. And I'm going to record this in Google Sites and um, just let you see how the tool works. So I'll go ahead and click my Screencastify icon. Now if I only want to record what's in my browser, that keeps my window smaller, I can do that. I can see that my microphone is working right over here because it's bumping when I talk, so that's good. If I want to record the audio that's going to happen in this tab, if there's a sound that I want to take note of in the video, I can turn that on. I can turn on Embed Webcam and choose which webcam I want to use, which I'm not sure which that is. I have two um, on the computer in front of me, so we'll just have to see. And I do want to choose to view the preview window. So now I'm going to go ahead and record this tab I'm on in my browser and I'm gonna um, just take a look around this site so we can look at the video and see what it's like. So if you want to record your whole desktop remember you do that same sort of thing right here. So this one will record my desktop. You know what I'll go ahead and do that so you can see what that looks like. If it's just the tab it'll just be this tab. If it's the whole desktop it'll be outside the window that you can see on my screen right now. Um, so let's go ahead and do that so it'll give you a different view. Definitely want to turn the preview window on. I'll show you why in just a second. 
So I'm going to click record. I'm going to have uh, 10 minutes to record in the free version. Now I use this tool so much and I like it so much I wanted to support the authors so I purchased it. Um, not because I'm going to record for more than 10 minutes though, just because I really like it. So I'm going to record uh, screen one on my computer. That's the screen I'm on right now. And I'll go ahead and click share. Share. Share in this software means record. And you can see it's using my other camera, not the one that's right in front of me that you're seeing in the um, Camtasia video. So I'm going to move this up because in a minute my um, view is going to be obscured down here in the bottom right. So this is my live preview window so I can see what's going on in my video. The reason I told you I really want you to use this um, live preview is because this gives you a great place to pause. When you're screencasting, pause is your best friend because if you lose what you're going to say, lose your place, say, uh, and you know, kind of feel like a deer in headlights, you can pause, regroup, and carry on. What you don't want to do is restart every time you have a problem. You'll never finish a video and no one is expecting perfection, so don't even strive for that. Do it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even make your videos better. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll around in this site. You can see it moving. And then I can also go down because I'm recording my whole screen and I could open things up um, in the other part of my screen and you guys would be able to then see them. So if I open up this image over here, um, out, even outside of this window, you're going to see it because Screencastify is recording it. So it's pretty cool. When you get finished, what you want to do is click stop sharing. Now I just accidentally closed my preview window. Normally you could stop right there. Um, you can also stop right up here in your toolbar, I believe. Uh, what that's doing is bringing up a stop button at the bottom of my screen. So when I finish, I'm going to click stop sharing. So I just click that. And now what will happen is I'm going to be taken to a different screen. Let me turn my sound down. So now you see what this looks like in the full view. And we've made a screencastify. So let's talk about now. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. And let's talk about how to save this. So right up here in the top left where it says untitled screencast, we're going to call it, give it a name, whatever this recording is. So I'm going to call mine a screencast within a screencast. Um, I'm going to click close. Now, this is the important part. I'm going to go to the share button. And you can put it on YouTube if you like. I find most people want to just put it in Google Drive. They're mostly sharing it with their colleagues within their school, so that makes a lot of sense. Now I'm going to click get link. Now, if I go to this link right this second and I copy it and I send it to someone, it's not going to work yet. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to open up an incognito window where I'm not logged in and I'm going to paste that link. And it's going to tell me that this video is processing. That doesn't mean that what you did didn't work. It just means that it needs more time to process the video in Google Drive. You can also share this video straight to Google Classroom using this little button right over here. So if you use that tool, this is really handy. Um, but let's go ahead and practice how we would email it or share it out another way. So you can see the privacy. People who have the link to the video can view it. That happens automatically. I'm going to click the copy link and now I'm going to go to my Gmail account. Um, but this will work through any email account, so don't think it's only working because I'm using Gmail. So I'm going to go to this account and make a new mail message and send the video to my colleagues who I want to see it. So now when I go to my Compose window and, and I click a to address and I say, you know, please watch or whatever you want to say and I paste in the link to the video probably want to give some directions, you know, click here to watch this video, then people are going to be able to view that video. All they'll have to do is click the link. I do want to make sure that the screencast is finished processing before I send it off. Um, so this is what I can do. I can go to the hot dogs in the top right and open a new incognito window. 
and then I can paste in that link that Screencastify gave me and I can check back in a few minutes and see if it's finished processing and actually it's finished now. So when it's ready to go I can click play and preview it make sure everything's okay like I want it to be and then at that time I'll be able to hit send on my email and my colleagues will be able or students will be able to click on that link and watch the video. So I hope that helps you and uh, if you like this please share it. Uh, the more people who watch this the better and uh, give it a thumbs up on YouTube that helps too. Thanks a lot you guys have a great day.